Suffolk's position at Turkey Trot Trench, okay? One of the things I want to show you is the, is the war diary for the 17th of October, which you can just see on the page here. And there he is. He's there. So 17th of October, 1915, Hill 60. Casualties, one killed, five at the Pinnells. Nine wounded, is that nine wounded? Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't tell you how or... Well, if you, if you read through it, you can see that Turkey Trot Trench is hit by artillery fire and bombing. So it doesn't sound like, with the nine, with one killed and nine wounded, that's not a sniper. That sounds like an artillery shell or two. And then at eight o'clock, so at 20 hundred hours, there's funeral of Private Hinnells. Spelt wrong, by the way. <laughs> Too many L's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> funeral of Private Hinnells in SWB Gully. So, it's very stark, isn't it, that yeah. you just... Well, in a way, he's lucky. Because he's, he's, he's the only, only one. one. So he makes the war diary. If there's been 30 yeah. guys killed that day, maybe the one, off, the one officer, the officer's name will be listed, possibly, and so many men from this platoon, so many men from that platoon. So it, it's almost exactly 100 years since Frank died. He was 18, just over 18 when he died. You know, thousands of miles from home, and culturally, and uh, in every other way, they were they were so far from home. One of the
Well, the, on Friday, it was, on Saturday, but on Sunday, wasn't there was a meeting on the things about the 4th of That's November fine. of the risk managers, which I attend as and chair of the security it working group. Mm. Well, it might be because the UCL radius is down. Do you not know? It's probably Sarah Collins. It's the A type. Do you know nothing about this group? Do you know nothing about this Okay. I will send you some stuff, uh, and I'll tell you which bits you need to read and which bits you need to skim. Uh, but um, it's not the, it's not, um, it doesn't, it, it's been passed by SMT, it's not secret, but, but it doesn't appear anywhere on the web yet, which is a problem in itself, right, um, uh, so just be discreet. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that later, Chip. Morning. Hello. Right, um, Edurome, uh, documentation. Yep. We need, well, ju just the list I sent over the weekend. Uh, so, what I need to see is what documentation we have at this point. So the first thing I want is a physical is a physical diagram and a logical diagram and things which shows where the VLANs are. Mm. Okay. Now well, he's already done that. Topological one anyway. So you've done a fair bit already, so can we just review what we have? I mean, we, we could probably get this. We, we, it's possible we can get this done in an hour. Yeah. But but but, but we must have this in play. Yeah. You know, we, we can't have a situation that it breaks. Well, we, we need user documentation out before we do. Yeah. Before we release it. Well, we've already had people come in going, oh, how do we connect? How do we do this? It's not available yet. <coughs> if you know how to connect. And you can do it yourself, then you can connect, otherwise wait till we announce it. Yeah, well it doesn't work for me. For me. Well. But it, mm, I, there's two errors coming up. One is that it can't talk to the home server, and the other one is it looks like it's not even sending a password. So, well, luckily so it's the home server. Where the, your, it, all accounts are federated. Yeah. It, we, we have no accounts here, Yeah. local accounts, so they all go through up to Edgy Road and go down to whichever institution, whether that's UCL or somebody else but at the moment I'm getting errors coming back saying that the UCL one is not responding um, and is that a file warning issue? no it was working over the weekend on on the EduRam website they're saying monitoring problems so what our problem or their, sorry a wider problem U UCL everyone else is well a lot of people are connections fine connections fine and UCL is, is a monitoring problem so they've obviously got issues whether that is a complete blackout or Do they not. know we're active? UCL? Yeah. Or, or Edurain? Uh, both. Well, we've been active with, Edu with UCL for some time. Um, the thing is, you know, officially active and, and testing are different matters. I mean, we are supposed to tell Janet stage by stage where we're at. I mean, have we done that? We haven't told Janet that we're, that we're up and running yet. Well, you're supposed to... We, we, we are in, we have the level that we are right. testing. Okay, right. I mean, Jan Janet, Janet and UCL both know that we are testing. Okay, we're still officially in testing phase. But Paul was, is, Paul Mann knows that we are about to go live before he left. I've, I've, I've emailed the, Paul to say that it's a response. We should liaise. Yeah, just to say that he's away till the 19th. We should liaise with college before we start letting people on in any sort of money. Well, well, just so they know. I mean, good heavens. Paul, Paul Mann is the person to talk to at college. No, he's not there. He's not there, and if you phone the is it network group, then there'll be somebody just keeping an eye on his uh, workload. Yeah, well, the point is that I've emailed him. We'll have to deal with it. I mean, when he brought it up on Friday, we can discuss with him what's, yeah, what's required indeed. next. We need to bring up. Um, um, guess your guest as well. Yeah, but that's going to be a while. Is it? That's right. Well, if, if that's the case, then we, we, we need to be clear what we're going to do 